What's up, Blizz Nation? Welcome back to Strictly Blizzness, episode 13. Baker's Dozen. Baker's Dozen. I'm not going to... Is that what it actually is for 13? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a Baker's Dozen. Apparently, I don't ever buy eggs or bakery goods. Okay, eggs come in a dozen. <laughs> this is a Baker's well, Dozen. Well, I understand that. That's why I was confused. <laughs> so. so why do they give you the extra one? The idiom of Baker's Dozen goes back to the 16th century, where bakers would add an extra loaf to a dozen to raise their profits. The number 13 is referred to as a Baker's Dozen, and it is still used in that way today. Just because they're a Baker Dozen. Okay. They like to give you a little bonus. It's <laughs> okay. just a bonus. Proof that this show was not scripted, because apparently I didn't know what a Baker's Dozen was. So. <laughs> well, you were saying Lucky 13. And- okay. Nobody says lucky 13. They skip 13 in hotels just because it's an unlucky number. Wow. You didn't know that either? I didn't know that either. Okay. Well, they do it. Cool. Yeah. Good. Anyway. Well, we won. We won. Victory Monday, Tuesday. (laughs) On Monday and Tuesday. (laughs) It'll be a victory victory week. So, yes, we did win, which was awesome. Um, Another heart attack game, I think. Um, But sports center worthy because there was a fabulous catch. (laughs) Yep. uh, Oh, man. Dad of the year. Dad of the year. And catch of the year, I think. Well... We had that Blizzard player go over the boards in the other game, so Dad That's of the Year. True. Dad of the Year has the year. has a fight for Catch of the Year. So. I mean, just to have that arm out there yeah, holding was crazy. the kid and yeah. bobble it a little and bring it in. That looked it was cool. awesome. That was it cool. was awesome. At least he didn't bobble the kid. I'm glad he got yeah. he bobbled the football. Yeah, but the mom really looked unimpressed. Yeah, yeah not at all. Like, what like, are you doing? Sit back down. <laughs> I heard you got rowdy at the end of the game. I did. I got a little rowdy, but I have my voice. My friends so. at Big Bark had uh, video evidence of you getting rowdy. Oh, seriously? <laughs> mm. You do have your voice, though, today. I do That's have good. my voice. I, I, was, I was screaming, but not as much. But I was trying to get the crowd involved. So I hope that's the they footage. They got loud again. I hope that's the footage that they got. Yeah. I hope so, too. They didn't get the footage of when I got my foot stuck trying to go sign the guy that just <laughs> caught the ball. Yeah, that, that was fun. Nice. <laughs> yeah. No, anyway. you you did good. They got loud. They got sure really did. loud. Um, yeah. It was very impressive for the number of people that we had. I mean, we had close to 2,000 people there. But um, pe- what I like about this season is people are sticking around. Yep. And so at the end of the game, when we need them most, because Corey likes to, you know, take it down to the wire, <laughs> um, we have fans there that are cheering. Yep. And it's it's been great. They've been very engaged. Um and I know some of them stayed because we we told them we would have some kind of a fifth quarter, so that was pretty cool too. Yeah, I thought that print went pretty well too. And again, kids were screaming at players <laughs> as I was backing up. I hear thirteen from a little kid by the front with them. Thirteen, <laughs> sign my stuff. <laughs> twenty-two, twenty-two. <laughs> yeah, I heard a lot of that too. It was great. It was great to see the fans get that part of our game back because that to me is. It's what been makes, us. Yeah, for, that's the IFL. Yeah. That's the IFL, and that's the Blizzard way. So, And it sounds like we'll have that almost back to normal soon, we hope, right? Yeah, it should okay. be with this next game, that June 4th game. So that's the start of our um, a lot of things. Um, you, I don't know how you want to unpack that. You want to just talk about what June 4th is? Yeah, so that's U Sports Night. Uh, so a whole bunch of stuff going on. Um, it's funny because on game weeks, I have to do a recap with – PMI going into each game. And last week I was like, well, it's kids free. Not a lot of shenanigans. I said, but the next three, we have some shenanigans. So evil shenanigans. U sports night. Yes. So U sports night again, U sports teams. This will be your, well, you got one more strictly business reminder, but it's really close to game day at that point. If you have a U sports team, you need to get in contact with us uh, because it's also the youth Jersey giveaway. And if again, if you bring 10 teammates, team members, whoever to the game, as long as there are 10 of you, you can guarantee the youth in your group a youth jersey. Yeah, and why not team it up with your school, right? Yep. I mean, why not have your school be part of your youth team going in? Yep. 
because it counts towards digital dash for cash. Yeah, that all starts in June. So yeah, and I've uh, I didn't get to my email because usually when I finish a home game, I try not to touch Blizzard things on the weekend. <laughs> but because you need a breather, right? What's, um, what? But there was a lot of digital dash orders coming in, so I'm excited to go through and check in and see what games they're going to because June 4th might be shaping up pretty crazy, and that game always is. We joke, but it's like the one game a year I'll get yelled at in the lobby. You're out of youth jerseys. I'm like, they were out when we opened the door. Yeah. So, yeah, they um, don't last long. So, again, you can guarantee yourself that by registering with a group of 10 U Sports team, uh, or you can brave the chaos doors at six for the normal folks because the U Sports folks will be in earlier for our cool experience with Joe De La Grave, Kevin Guy, and Corey, and Kathy and I. Um, so, again, if you're a youth sports team, you don't have to wait in the chaos that will be the line for you Thursday night. So. Right. You'll get them. They'll be in your seat. Yeah. Or however we're going to hand gonna them out it. while you're at that thing so you don't have to go back in the lobby line up. And, right. yeah. Right. Yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. I'm excited. And you're going to see – I don't want to unpack too much because okay. Big Bark's <laughs> going to help me with this. <laughs> <laughs> I wish sometimes we could point the camera that way because Big Rock's like, what? <laughs> Where did who go? Pause. <laughs> um, no, we have uh, some kids coming in uh, that are in youth sports, and we're going to talk about why sports are important yeah. to them. And Joey uh, is going to kind of break that down with me. So I'm really excited to talk to these kids and it's in leading up to that youth sports night and it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. And then, so the next, the next three all have some shenanigans, right? So we'll just unpack it. I really like that word today. Say shenanigans one more time. (laughs) The, uh, so June 18th is outdoors night. So camel hat giveaway beer special. And then uh, we actually haven't announced that yet, but Maverick blinds is going to give away a Maverick blind that game too, as nice. part of the ice storm. So oh, Ken to Sports, get it in there? yeah, Ken Sports and Maverick uh, sponsor outdoors night. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach a Maverick blind to the back of an ATV, oh, so and it's, it's gonna, gonna take moving? it's gonna be a moving target for ice storm. And we're much gonna because like, much like deer are when you when we hunt the bucks. Yes. Nice. <laughs> like that little segue. Um, but we are we're gonna give it away because it's easier, even though it's a moving target, it's huge with windows. Um, it's gonna be easier. There's probably gonna be a bunch of footballs that land in the blind, we hope. Uh, so we'll take a random one out of there. And our friends at Ice Clouds also have agreed to give away the ice clouds for the summer on that too. So the person that wins the blinds oh. wins ice clouds for the summer as well. Can I win ice clouds yeah. for yeah. the summer? You and Lisa Mallard from Local 5 too. When I was on last week, she's like, I love ice clouds. Does this mean I win? I'm like, no, we're just doing yeah. commercial. <laughs> I feel you, Lisa. Yeah. I feel you. I'm just saying, I feel you. So that's going to be a fun one. And then June 25th is also awesome. We love doing military appreciation night and the block party. Um, and Derek Jones concert, and we're gonna have some fun. You said up. his name. I did. We've okay. announced that before. I know, but you were like so secretive oh, the last show. It's out there now. That's He's a co host of the event. So that's why I was like, why are we being so secret? You're like, you don't know who it is. I'm thinking, well, I, don't, I did say maybe that. Maybe he does have something okay. new. You, do we have to do a fact no, check? No, we don't because I really messed that. one up last week. So, <laughs> uh, you, you know. I think we should talk a little bit about the block party because I really want people to be there this year. Yeah. Um, in force. Now, yep. what time of day does that start? So it starts at five. Um, so come right from work. Yep. Starts at five uh, because we do have a rally towel giveaway. So when the doors open at six, you absolutely can go get your rally towel, come out and hang out at the block party. But we usually start shutting down some of the block party stuff so people can get in watch the national anthem. So really five to six is the window. Uh, holy moly will be out there. Derek will be out there. Food sampling will be out there. Um, you're welcome to call out that one. You have that look of say it or don't say it. I'm not, maybe I'm reading wrong. Sampling. All right, is cool. Good. So food sampling and how the food sampling works is we we do wristbands and you buy a two dollar wristband that we donate all of it to Desert Vets Wisconsin. So uh, that's just the way to thank those folks for getting involved in the game and support our troops. Uh, so you get that allows you to sample ice clouds. Um, a couple other folks will have there. Um, and we usually don't make much in concessions that night because people sample a ton at the block party. And that's another reason it's only an hour long. So Yeah. <laughs> so And we do run out of food. Yes. Every year we yep. run out of food. And that's okay because it's not there to be your meal. 
it's a snack. And to highlight some of our food partners who Correct. want to take part in that. Again, it's not there to, to your point. Right. Pre-game meal, then meal, then post-game meal. So. Oh, it sounds like a blizzard. It player. does, actually. So. Yeah. They do pre-game. During halftime, yep. they have their bananas and Snickers. Yeah. And then post-game. Yeah. It is. So I think I had all the block party stuff there, but we have fun with that all the time. So Well, and having live music is going to be... Yeah pretty cool yeah that'll that'll be a really neat setup so please come to the block party just plan to be at the game at five o'clock on the 25th yeah music and i think it'll be neat we always set up some form of arcade so whether it's been bay tech edge vr arcade over the years i think with lifestyle 77 as a partner this year it'll be cool because it's some outdoorsy games as well so do you think lifestyle have is it lifestyle that does the axe game or is that Baytech? That uh, Baytech. Baytech. Yeah, Baytech. Yeah. Are they going to have those out there? I don't know. It's a great question. Because so. when I saw the That's axes actually... on the field, I had somebody say, are they actually throwing axes down there? And I went, no, they're not. There's a reason the axe. interns wear helmets. So, <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. That but, is a fun one, though, this year. That promo is really fun. So, it is. Yeah. It is. So that's cool. Hey, when I say Big Bark, you say... Woof. Look at that. You were right on cue. I'm ready. I am I'm wired today. You are wired. <laughs> What's going on with that hat? What do you mean? Is it cricket or... No, I like it. Oh, <laughs> it's just faded from all the Blizzard golf outings I've done before. So this it is does. not one of those pre-torn jeans, pre-faded That's hat things. Like. So, That's what I was no, like. Wait, yeah. is, that, is he wearing that hat because we have a new hat? It, no, it legit might be from like our your first, second year of ownership. It's been that old that I... It's just enough charity golf outings that I gets destroyed like by the sun. So. Yeah, I kind of like it because yeah. it is a faded green. Yep, yeah, it is. Awesome. <laughs> Well, you are known for, you know, using whatever color green you would like. <laughs> I didn't. Okay. The car was my fault and Joel from Wondersign's fault. Ooh, shameless plug. <laughs> uh, yeah. And finger pointing too, I guess. So. <laughs> but we loved it. We did love it. It's just when Ryan showed up with it, I went, where did that green come <laughs> from? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Corey has done that too. Why do I get all the finger pointing? Corey, Corey makes up whatever apparel he wants. Corey does come up <laughs> with his own line of apparel every season. <laughs> this season is no exception. Yes, he has his friends yeah. down in Sheboygan that, what? what is, I don't. Oh, Callahan's. Oh, oh Callahan's. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Callahan's. Yeah, they do um, work for Corey down there. They do good work. Yeah. Very good work. Um, but Hey, speaking of vendors, you know so, where yeah. I'm going. Oh yeah. Right. So these are our artisan cups. Now these are done by a local artist. Now these are going to be bougie cups, not to be, not to be confused with bougie salons. Okay. Cause when we've I, talked about them. Yes, so. when, no, not bougie salons. These are like bougie. Like they are the upper echelon truck truck. This is a truck. truck. This is not a You'll truck. You'll see this on 41 going <laughs> south. This, well, <laughs> In the back of my car, you, <laughs> you would, but no. So these are made by a local artist. These are all limited edition cups. So like mine, and you see how pretty this is? Yeah, it sparkles for sure. It does sparkle, and it says all kinds of fun things on it. So each cup, though, is a masterpiece of its own. So these are not cheap. That's why I said bougie. Yeah. So these are 65 bucks a piece. Nice. So that one is actually, that's kind of a throwback because when we did... Um, scrapbooking yeah when i own the store creations galore yeah we had blizzard paper as well as stickers yeah made up. a bunch of supplies yeah. yeah and these are the stickers from the scrapbooking so she took the stickers and turned them into a mug it's awesome um i believe we have 18 of those there's only 12 of these she calls them the ombre because <laughs> they go they go from light to dark. I right? think of uh, I think of trolls every time I see that lady glitter sparkles. <laughs> I have two girls, so that's not an intentional forced movie plug. I literally have that movie on probably once a week okay. at my house. So. so the fact that you know the actual <laughs> name, <laughs> lady of, glitter sparkles, <laughs> kind of scares me I know. a little bit. Okay, we need to talk about something like <laughs> Jason Stantham yeah. in the theaters this week. Action, or something. Steven yeah. Seagal. Yes. <laughs> um. But anyway, she's got some really cool ideas for... So like I said, there's 18 and 12 of these. Cool. We're going to have them up in the shop online when? This week. This week. Yep. So they're going to go fast. They're going to go really fast. Even at 65 a piece, they're going to go fast. Because you had people asking about them when did, you didn't even have them I, yet. Right. Yep. Right. So those are pretty much gone already. So maybe we'll be able to sell <laughs> three. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but anyway... She has some great ideas for 
the next series of mugs that she's going to do. So she's going to do some for military night for us. Cool. That she showed me kind of a breakdown and they look fabulous. So thank you, Nicole. These are awesome mugs and they're very pretty. Yeah. And I think I was talking to our silver squirrel, shameless plug friends, squirrel, squirrel. Um, yeah, we're working on some cool stuff for military night. Cause I think that's one that folks want to come up and get something commemorative or something cool for military night outside of just a military ball. Cause we will have those again this year. That'll be the last different game ball we run this season right. will be the military one. So there's one on outdoors night for those of you collecting game balls. There's a claw ball with camo and then there's a military one as well, but we wanted to do something cool like these. And I think silver squirrel might come up with some cool stuff for military night as well. Yeah. And so that way at the game, if these aren't going to be available anymore because they're sold out, you get different price points available. And that's yep. what, but squirrels, I just call them squirrel. I know I'm supposed to call them silver squirrel, but they they do a great job of giving us a plethora of ideas yep. for gifts. And that's what they do for a living. Yes. I mean, um, yeah, Becky does, uh, Becky and Mark both do some great stuff um, and have great ideas and always new things. So if you have anything for your business that you're looking for promotional-wise or gift-wise yeah. or award-wise, they are the people to go see. Yeah, and they're they're awesome, easy to talk to, and fun to talk to. So, cool. Yeah, I like her. I like both yeah, of them. I know, right? Yeah. It's cool. All right, what else do you know? Uh, not a lot. Come on, you know stuff. <laughs> I know stuff. Things. Um, I don't know what else there is. You we don't know what else there is. No, I mean, so great weekend. Coming? So we have off this weekend. We're yeah. just gonna relax. It's weird. I know. The boys, uh, some of them went home. Good. Um, just to relax a little bit because they got a tough road ahead. Mm-hmm. Um, Arizona's coming to town, that June 4th game. As yep. you said, Kevin Guy is in town. So if Kevin's in town, that means his team is in town. True. Um, <laughs> That's a good. I'm just saying. Good, yeah, Kevin doesn't yeah. come to visit just because <laughs> he's not that kind of guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to come to Wisconsin. Um, so Arizona will be here. Uh, and then, as we said, you know, that's followed up by Bismarck. And then um, who are we playing military night? Who's the away game in between? I'd actually have to look because there's an that's away Louisville. game after June 4th. Oh, that's that is. Louisville. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We'll um, and Louisville. then military night is Iowa first time this year. So Barnstormers. And they're good to go, too. They they got Sioux Falls on the opener in the Hall of Fame game. So they're, yeah, you're right. This will be the gauntlet of some of the best, the best in the IFL. Right. So. And, you know, I don't know how many of you watch other teams in the IFL, but this weekend was a great weekend for IFL yeah. football. I mean, we had some good games. We had our first overtime. Yep. I was going back and forth with Sam from um, Spokane or Spokane. Spokane how do I don't know? Do you looking at the guy who can't spell? Well, the... but it depends <laughs> where what side of the country you're on. You call it Spokane or Spokane. Got it. But anyway, I call it Spokane. So I was talking to Sam during the game of um down in iowa and i said it's gonna go in overtime he's like no sure enough (laughs) down to the last second and you know i'm sure iowa did not want it to go into overtime but duke city looked great on the field shout out to gina yep um for her team and then you had the rigs and guy showdown in sioux falls so rematch of the ifl championship united bowl which was also a good close game i mean that's you know, we've, we've talked for years. When we first came into the league, Art always talked about parity. Yeah. And our vet rule came into play so that there would be parity in the league. And as I was watching these games this weekend, it it made it feel like we finally got there. Right. We have some great competitive teams, which always gives me the heart attack because that means it comes down to yeah. either the last possession yep. or that de- whoever got the defensive stop because – you know, they got points yep. out of it or whatever. And yeah, yeah, you want high scoring, but you don't want 47 to zero either. Right. So, yeah. right. You don't want to shut out in this league, yep. but, um, you know, having 47 to 47 yep. and you're in the last two minutes of the game, yep. it's pretty exciting or 55 to 55. Yeah, it was crazy. So, um, kudos to all of our other team, uh, members out there, meaning the other members of the IFL, because I thought it was a great weekend for some of them to start um, and some of them to have their second game. And it it was very competitive. And I like seeing that. Yeah. Yeah, I was standing next to a first time attender just catching up at our game too. And 
when Corey scored in the fourth, he was Corey like, I was think, on the field. Well, no, wait, what? Oh, he was on the field. He's always on the field, but but he was score. He was like carrying. Oh the ball. yeah, he scored personally. He scored yeah. a touchdown. Um, no, the he was the the first time fan was like, I think he scored too fast. And I'm like, yeah, I, we joke, but it does not matter until it zeroes on the clock because you can throw the length of the field and everything, especially with the deuce rule, like. I was listening to Rich, who commentates for Sioux Falls, commentate that game, and he was doing all the, which I couldn't have done, math combinations to figure out how uh, Arizona could catch Sioux Falls, right? Whether they got the onside kick to deuce and then, you know. But, right. yeah, there is, there's a lot of options in play as long as there's time on the clock to still catch a team. A minute, so. a minute is very, very yep. long in the IFL. So if you're ahead by that three or four points – and there's a minute on the clock. You are. I don't watch. You cannot <laughs> just not sit watch. back. You cannot sit back because it is. There's a lot that can. You can happen. ask our PMI friends. I legit don't watch the end of games or most of the games. Blizzard Nation. I listen to the crowd noise as the clock's ticking yeah. down to see what happens. So yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to watch because I can't. Like I mean, I can, but. I have Maybe other things attack. to do. Yeah, so if I'm like all pouty at the end of the game, that's not good for anybody. So. No, it's not. No. It's not good for anybody if Ryan's pouty. Nice. <laughs> well done. <laughs> but you're not you're you're an upbeat guy, so you're not a pouty kind of guy. No. No, you're nope. you're pretty upbeat. People say that about you. <laughs> People say things about me. Plenty of them. Do, That's well, one no. of them. <laughs> no, they say good things about you. Ryan is so helpful. I mean, I have talked now. I'm not, I'm not kidding you on this. I have talked to a couple IFL owners in the last week who have said they have reached out to you personally and how helpful you've been. That's good. So you're taking their calls, but not mine. I'm a little concerned with that. <laughs> Wait, why am I so not I, taking your call? <laughs> Taking other owners, but okay, not mine. Okay. Anyway, so no, I, I think you're a valuable asset, not just to, to Green Bay, but clearly to the league because you're helping out other people. It's been a, it's been a minute. It's yeah. been seven years with you guys. So <laughs> Crazy. Yes, it is. It's been fun, though. Yeah, it, it is. And then we get to do stuff like this. It, it is, really. I think this is one of the best things in the league, and I'm not saying that selfishly uh, just i look at other social media and that's not the blizzards better than but i think it's unique and there is constantly whether it's a master spas player of the game this the coaches show like there's constantly content on the blizzard page right now which is cool so yeah which yep. is nice yep. I, I like it i like it and you know in years years ago we didn't really have we weren't in tune to that because we thought it was all football all the time yeah and we learned really quickly that it's not always just football. It's about the entertainment. Right. It's about the community piece. It's about the presence in the community. Um, so that's important. So it makes a well-rounded team, Yep, I think. It does. But that's me, so what do I know? A plenty. Being just an owner. Just, <laughs> right, yeah. right. You just own the team. And, that, yeah, a, la uh, a shameless plug on the way out, too. That's a lot thanks to our friends at Big Bark. So a lot of the content this year is not possible, right? That's... It looks polished and good because it's not filmed on an iPhone or not done in spur of the moment. It's done with, with forethought. Some, yeah, right. Except for this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what time we're filming this. We don't know what's going to happen <laughs> well, after that. Well, we know that, what time, so. but whether or not I can get here on time is right. a whole different topic right. conversation. <laughs> um, we'll talk about my driving skills at a later date. Yes, probably. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm hanging out with Chair again. Chair. Which you'll be doing? No, you won't be because we're gonna film at we got the a game. special one. Yeah, yeah, we have yep. a special game day blizzness that we're gonna show you after the game. Yeah, so we're gonna do it pre-game on the right. fourth. Yeah, yep. So, so we got for him. I think that's it. Yep. Did we do enough plugs? Sure did. Awesome. Did we talk about Marcus at all? No. Oh, well, we just did. Thank you, Marcus <laughs> Theaters, for all of your help and support. Yes. Okay. We'll have that showing coming up with a fan eventually here, too. I know. So, yeah. When they finally release Widow. Yep. That could change. Indeed. All righty. Hit him with it. Hit him. Go, Go Blizz. Blizz. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, share, and ring that notification bell to get all of our content in your inbox. Yeah.